All right, ready? <clears throat> yeah. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the pilot episode of the Dreamcast. Now, let me explain what this show is. So, one of the most common questions I get are, what's my favorite video game movie, and what video game would make the best game to adaptation movie? Uh, so, what this show is about is basically casting casting the movie. Um, in a lot of cases, in some cases where the movie's already been made, uh, in my opinion, the cast wasn't the best, fair to say. Fair. So, we're going to recast, and not only that, if it's, an, if it's a movie that was already made, then we're going to recast it. Who would have been great then and who would be good now in those roles? If it's a game that has not been made into a movie, then we cast it um, and how we think that it would be uh, best casted. <laughs> <laughs> so, we are starting with Super Mario Brothers. That's probably the uh, one of the most, most well-known video game movies. Um, one of the most uh, least liked, actually. <laughs> it by and large is not a good film, but we're not here to review the film. We're here to give you our dream cast. Okay, so rules. Rules are we're basically taking the main cast. So we're going to be looking at Mario, Luigi, uh, Koopa, uh, Toad, Toad, Daisy, and Iggy and Spike. Mm -hmm. um, we're not going to get into like. Goombas and you know Thug Three or anything like that. So um, let's get right to it. First one, Toad. So Toad was played by Mojo Nixon. First of all, mm. Toad's a little guy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So Toad should be portrayed by a little person. Yes. So that being said, let's start with Toad. Who would you cast? David Rappaport from Time Bandits. David Rappaport from Time Bandits. He was also Bandits. on uh, Frankenstein, The Bride of Th Frankenstein, right? He was. Yeah. Uh, Bride of Frankenstein. I think that's right. This guy, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah the uh, the yeah, carny the guy, the flying. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Um, well, look, for obvious reasons, he's Toad. Because, well, look at him. He's he's very Toad like. Toad, he's toad sized. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Um, now this list, we came up with this list together, and yes. this is why Tim is here in the the pilot episode of this. Um, I'm sure I'm gonna have to do some on my own. But not this time. Oh, no. Moving right along, let's go with Daisy. 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 First of all, Daisy was kind of an odd choice uh, as far as a damsel in distress goes. Probably should have been Peach. Peach, yeah. But that's neither here nor there. It, it is what it is. Uh, Samantha Mathis was Daisy. I don't think she was right for this part at all. Mm. I don't think she had the look. I don't think she could really act, honestly, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Um, and that's why we're recasting this. So, right. uh, Daisy, I think... I think it's a pretty good pick too. Yeah. Winona Ryder. Winona Ryder. Winona Ryder is what for one one way better actor. Yes. Actress. actress sorry. Actress. Uh, two, even if she didn't have the right hair color, eye color, whatever, it's all in wardrobe and makeup and all that other kind of stuff. Right. Uh, I definitely think Winona Ryder would have been better in that role as Daisy than Samantha Mathis. Especially at that time. Especially at that time, yeah. she was she was hot at that time. Yeah. Like yeah. she was in everything at that time. Yeah. So. I guess we should say that. We're actually casting this from 1993. Like, who would have been good in 1993? Yeah. These are all actors that were hot or whatnot in the 90s. In the 90s. In the 90s. In the 90s. Next is uh, Bowser. Bowser and I guess Iggy and Spike. Um, not taking anything away from Dennis Hopper. He's a great actor. Uh, just not in this film. It uh, seemed like he was just trying to get a paycheck. You know, it's like, he phoned, like he phoned it in, really. Like, that's... Uh, um, a little ridiculous. Um, so. Even the first time we see him on screen, it's like, like he, he doesn't even say anything. It's just a look, and it's like, wow, really? Like that's it? <laughs> it's just bad. Now, again, I think I'm with you. Dennis Hopper, I think, is a great actor. He's done great roles. He's done great movies. But in this one, eh, not so much. So, um, I guess I'm gonna go with this. I think with Bowser. With Iggy and with Spike, it should have been one of two things. It either A, should have been a guy in a suit, you know, with, um, uh, uh, what do they call that shit where the face moves? Um, uh, animatronics. Animatronics, thank you. Animatronics. Or it should have been CG. Now, I understand in 1993, the CG would not look the best, but let's be honest, this movie wasn't that great anyway. So, <laughs> so I mean, it would have been, it would have fit right on par with the rest of the film. Crap, right? Mm -hmm. If you're going to have CG, if you're going to have puppets, animatronics, you got to obviously have a voice. Who do you think would be the best voice? Frank Welker. Frank freaking Welker. The great Frank, Frank Welker. Right. You don't know who he is. Megatron from Transformers. Yeah. That's all I gotta say. Go look up his his repertoire. Go look up his. He's Matt. done. He's done. Huh? Matt from uh, Inspector Gadget. 
Oh, he, Dr. Matt. Dr. Dr. Matt. Dr. Matt. Yeah, was yeah. it Matt? Dr. Eaton? No, Dr. Eaton Dr. was... Dr. Claw. Dr. Claw. Dr. Claw. Mad Dr. was the name of his yeah. organization. Yeah. yeah, so Frank Walker, Dr. Claw, Inspector Gadget, um, uh, 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 Starscream, Starscream uh, Megatron. Was he Megatron? Megatron. I believe he was Starscream, Cobra Commander as well. Uh, so anyways, the, the dude had a, a variety of voices and whatnot. So. He had done a lot at that point, yes, and I think he definitely should have been taken advantage of in that role. Yeah, so... What are you looking at? A couple of ugly idiots is wow. what I'm looking at. Wow. You just storming here thinking hey, you can... nice shirt. I like hey, your shirt. nice face. Oh. All right, so moving right along here, let's get to the two main parts of this movie, Mario and Luigi. I want to do Luigi first. Okay. Okay, because I want to say I actually have a lot of respect for John Leguizamo. I have a lot of respect for how he developed into a really, really great actor, especially in serious roles. Um, later on in his career, though, after Super Mario <laughs> Brothers, um, when when Son of Sam came out, I, I looked at his performance in that, and I was like, "Dude has some acting chops. Like he he has range. Right, right. He has range." And you and you started to see it from that moment on in lots of other different roles. He was in Spawn. Yeah, he was. He he's done so much. I, I love John Leguizamo. Like I said, ton of respect. At this point in his career, I don't think he was right. No, I don't think he was right because one, he's he's what Puerto Rican. Yeah, playing an Italian <laughs> with a Puerto Rican slash Latino accent. Like, come on, dude, you didn't even try there. Um, I think who would have made a better look for this? And Jordan, please do this one justice and put the hat and stash on the guy, Daniel Stern. Daniel Stern, the the Wet Bandits. He was the narrator in uh, Wonder Years. He was the dad in Little Monsters. He was the the one of the the coaches on Rookie of the Year. Daniel Stern had the right look. Okay, right height. What's his biggest movie? You didn't even say Home Alone. I said Wet Bandits. He was a Wet Bandit. Oh, I didn't catch that. Yeah, so why don't you mind your own yeah, fucking business for interrupting I guess, I guess and shut your damn mouth? Yeah, wow. Sorry. sorry, Jordan. Sorry, sorry. He's making this harder on you. Yeah. Your 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 voice, I think, just lends itself to to daydreaming. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "People fucking." That's what he said. <laughs> Tune out. Can I finish, please? <laughs> you like that? <laughs> Trying to film something here. Oh yeah, sorry. All right. It's literally taken almost a month for me to get this fucking thing filmed. Daniel Stern, if you wanted to go a more comedic route, he definitely would have been the guy. And there was some comedy, although it was had a you know this this movie had a darker tone. There was some comedy in there, and I just think I think he would have done a better job in 1993 than John Leguizamo. So for Mario, we had Bob Hoskins. Uh, now, out of the whole uh, accumulated group of actors that were in this film back then, he probably was the best one. Uh, that being said, uh, he was not the right fit in my eyes. Um, that's why we're doing this. Is because <laughs> in my eyes, I mean, we, we kicked this around a, a lot, you know, like like big names back then: Hoffman, De Niro, um, Pesci. Pesci. Uh, we even thought about about you know maybe more robust people like a Chris Farley or or right. even John Goodman or something, right. and kind of weighed the pros and cons. But ultimately. Danny DeVito. Danny DeVito. Danny and it's DeVito. funny because while doing some research, uh, that was actually the first choice for the role was Danny DeVito, but he turned it down. He was actually the first choice to play Mario, and he turned the role down. So, it's probably a good thing he did. I mean, <laughs> you're not wrong. <laughs> I mean, probably a great thing that he did. I actually think they wanted him to direct it as well. Really? If I'm not mistaken, right. But So, to recap our cast, we got Mario as Danny DeVito. We got Luigi as Daniel Stern. We have Daisy as Winona Ryder. We have uh, Toad, Toad as David, David Rappaport. Rappaport. And Bowser, uh, Spike, and uh, Iggy. Iggy are all CG or animatronics of uh, Frank Welker. Voiced by Frank Welker. Be voiced course. by Frank. Yeah, yes. He would have done. Oh, he'd have been great. Yeah. yeah. I mean, been this great. whole cast right I know. Here, that's what I'm saying. Uh, okay, think... so. Now let's cast this now. Who would be nowadays. good now? Nowadays. Okay. Um, some of these people, I'm not sure if you even know who they are. Uh, I can't read my handwriting. Okay, so now, like we promised, we're going to cast this modern day. Modern days. Who would be modern age? Is that what you said? I like that. Did you say modern age? 
I'm well, gonna pretend you did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna cast this in the modern age. Um, you know what? With with Koopa, with Iggy, with Spike, if they have to be in the film, and they were, uh, I think we're gonna go the same way. We're gonna go CG on that. And, and you know what? Frank, Frank Welker, Welker. <laughs> he's still alive. Yeah. He can still do it. You know exactly. Exactly. I mean, he hasn't gotten laryngitis for like 20 years, so he's he's still. I think he's good. He's still a voice yeah. actor, and he he would. I, I don't think there'd be a better choice. I, don't I mean, either. if there was, um, I don't. Maybe maybe Peter Cullen, who was Optimus Prime. Maybe, but that how, how but, who else did he voice? A dude, lot? He, was, he was the movie trailer guy for freaking a hundred years in the world. Yes, that guy, exactly. <laughs> so no, he and he, he he did a lot as well. But I mean, it, honestly, either one of those two. So you guys take your pick, right? Like 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 viewers' choice right now: Frank Welker or Peter Cullen. I don't think we could do any better than that. I don't either. So moving right along, let's go right up the totem pole here. Let's go with Toad. Again, we're going to stick with this uh, this little people, the short, the midget perspective on this because it is Toad. He should be pocket-sized. Martin Kleba from, I hope I said that right, from uh, uh, Pirates of the Pirates Caribbean, Caribbean. Fan. Yeah, the, the, I, the bald white midget. The bald was the bald white midget. That's <laughs> yeah, the one, actually. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what? Put put the the thing on him, and he's good. <laughs> you know, what? I'd even go if uh, his face was cut out so that he, he could see his face, just a toad outfit. See, that'd be kind of that'd be legit, hilarious. Right? Like, that'd be hilarious. Like a party city outfit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Smoking a cigar or some shit. Okay, anyway. so we're going with. Daisy now. I keep wanting to say Peach because that's who it should be. But why Daisy. wasn't it Peach? I don't know. I don't why know. wasn't it Peach? I don't know. She spawned it the whole fucking... That's what I'm saying. Anyways. I don't know. But it is what it is. We got to right. go with how they... what The parts that they put in it is, right. is what we're doing here. That being said, Daisy should be Allison Brie. If you don't know who she is, one of her biggest things right now is the show Glow on Netflix. Uh, she She's obviously an American playing a Russian wrestler. That's, that's her bit. That's her gimmick. And she does it really, really well. Uh, but aside from that, she she has the look. She has that kind of like she's good like wholesome girl next door. You know what I mean? Not I don't want to say plain, but definitely kind of this this sort of sort of cutesy anime kind of kind of look to her. And I think it'd be perfect for Daisy. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right, next we got. Um... Luigi. Are you on Lu we're Luigi? on Luigi, yes, sir. All right, we're on Luigi. Okay, now I feel that nowadays Luigi should be played by John Turturro. Turturro, yes. Turturro, yes. yes. You may know him from um, uh, uh, Transformers. He played uh, Sector 7, uh, the main guy from Sector 7. Uh, Rounders. Um, Big Lebowski. Big Lebowski. He was the uh, no one fucks with the Jesus. No one fucks with yeah. the Jesus. Yeah, yeah. he he's 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 a uh, he he can oh, do big, comedy. Big Daddy. Big Daddy. Big yeah, daddy yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, but yeah, he 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 can do comedy. He's got the height. He got the look. All you do is draw a little mustache, you know, on him and with that and, mustache and green hat on. Yeah, him. he's he's, he's good to go. I, yeah. I, yeah, I think he was good. He'd be a good. And and our, our modern age cast is is more is more comedic, I think, than anything else. And that's okay. I think I think Super Mario Brothers should be a little bit lighthearted and not. Not so not so serious right so that leads us to mario keeping with <laughs> the theme of kind of keeping it lighthearted and comedic we're gonna go with dan fogler you got that <laughs> now dan fogler um you may know him from such films as um um uh, what's that fucking the fantastic beasts uh he plays the uh the the human with the mogul, the moogle, mogul, the moogle, mogul, mogul, the mogul, 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 mogul. Yeah. the mogul who uh, ends up. Wait, uh, it's muggle. Isn't it muggle? M muggle. Whatever. Oh, no. Harry oh, Potter. Anyways. Whatever it anyways, is. You also know him from. Um, <laughs> fanboys. Uh, fanboys. Uh, from uh, the ping pong movie with Christopher Walken. Balls of Fury. Balls. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, so to recap, our list would be Iggy Spike and Bowser, CG, voiced by Frank Walker, uh, Toad, Martin Kleba. Daisy, Allison Brie, Luigi, John Turturro, and Mario, Dan Fogler. Our list is not perfect, but it's perfect for what we think. So I want to know what you guys think. Give me, give me two lists. Give me uh, the cast then, and give me the cast now. Who you guys would think would be best in those roles? And again, the people are Mario, Luigi, Daisy, uh, Toad, uh, Bowser, Iggy, and Spike. So maybe you guys agree with some of this. Maybe you agree with none of this. Um, but that's the beauty part about videos like this. It's uh, great for debate. So let us know what you guys think in the comments. Also, if you have a movie or video game that you want <laughs> us to turn and cast it, put it in the comments. I mean, we're going to eventually cover 
you know, all of them, even yeah, shitty yeah. ones like Doom and yeah, right. Double Dragon. I like how pe- people like to pretend Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat was a good one. No, it wasn't. I really um, with Street Fighter. Same with Street Fighter. Street Fighter sucked, but none of the Tekkens. The no, animated, we'll get to that though. Yeah, yeah, the animated we'll ones were all right ish. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.